Hello everybody, my name is Anthony and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 as Poland. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So, there's there's like no end in sight for this war. The French-American Summit of 1921 success. Oh, fantastic. Good work, France. You're really saving the, saving the day over there. Is there any more British? There's still more British troops, but I think we can pull off a 50,000 stack. Oh, what are you? Okay, you're an actual stack of arms. You're, you're an actual stack. Fantastic. You're not just all... These are our two regular brigades. And even then, we can build another 12 stack. So I think we are going to. Kill the six. This battle's actually not going very well, is it? Minus two. They've a, they a great... Uh... United Kingdom just white pieced? Oh no, I think it was just that call to arms thing. Like, but we just can't sever peace in crisis wars, which is dumb because you can sever peace in great wars, but not crisis wars. It makes no sense. Defender occupation minus fifty. We're getting our taking war. I guess we didn't get that much taking war score. But they're going to occupy all of France. That sucks. But it's also fine, I think. It could be worse. Is what I'm basically trying to say. They have, 100, they have 150 brigades. How many brigades do we have? We're at 200. So we have more. But that's not saying much. You, go back, you guys go back to Poland. Kill this 8 stack. You guys go up north. Still got the 7th stack that's not doing anything. The 2nd and the 46th army. That's a lot of armies. So we send out the, the glorious Polish navy. Let's go and like blockade their capital. Can we actually win any naval engagements? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not 100% too sure. God, there's so many just small... So many just small armies of Russia. It's just a ton of them. There's also a ton of small... What are you? Are you... You're, you're actual combined troop. Mostly infantry. We're infantry supported by actual cannons. So that makes us about a thousand times more effective. At least I think. And I'm hoping. I'm just here. You, you're just here to reinforce. You're there to kill. Kill the five stack as well. So you guys go north. I guess, I guess that's more east. Not really north, but... We're losing more men. But our uh, morale's higher, so that's good. I need more supply limit. What's the supply tech? It's this one. Synthetic... Okay. As soon as we're getting better cannons, we will do that. Did we just lose all our boats? Yeah, we just lost the entire royal... I mean, even though we're not a kingdom, we lost the royal Polish navy. What are you? You're in regular? Just, just more, more sieging stacks. That's really all you're here for. But we can't send them into Italy or into Great Britain because there's still a stupid amount of troops there. France also has a lot of troops. They have a, they have a hundred stack, but they're fighting the Germans, which is, you know, just bad for us. Like, what's our war score here? One percent. It's one percent, and they have all of Denmark occupied. We we absolutely ruined them. So we won the battle. We won a plus eight battle. Oh, is it this one? Yeah. Not that that matters too too much, but what are you? Are you just the infantry? Wait, what did they do to? Why are Croatian Istra? No, so Austria is trying to. Is this cores? I guess they are cores. And Croatia looks 
awful. So we have another sieging stack, I th think. Stop you. You actually suck at sieging, but that's fine, as long as they're doing something productive. I probably just, you know what, we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna let them siege that province back. So they're gonna siege it back, move somewhere, and then they'll have no dig-in bonus. Which is basically what I'm counting on there. What are you? Like, there's, there's all infantry stacks. Sure, we're taking minus five, but we have the artillery that can do more damage. Oh, they're actually attacking us. I love it when they attack us, because that makes it a thousand times easier. Is there anything else here? Oh, there is more attack values. Screw the supply limit. We need, we, we need more attack. And also better defense. If there's, if there's only a 28 stack now, I think we can just attack with this 100. And be fine. And not feel too bad about it. So what did Austria just do? Did they discredit us? Oh no, we, got, we, got, we just got banned. Okay. I mean, that's fine. We should win this battle down here. Swedish for some reason in Germany now. Or Polish Germany. So where are they again? They're going down here. Not the 16 stack. We'll send the, uh, the 25. You follow them. You attack there. Actually, no. You attack the 20 stack. You guys go north. And you kill the three. You guys aren't doing much, so you just go help one of the irregular stacks. I'm pretty sure the, the, these guys are better than the irregulars. I can't confirm 100%, but I'm pretty sure they are. Where are they retreating to? Premishil? Okay. Even though it's not Permishil, because pr Premishil's like here. Oh, the Italians. Okay. The Italians have decided to actually uh, do something now. It's because of the um. It's because Austria hates us. That's that's our issue. Is that Austria isn't really our friend. So what we're going to do. We're going to send this 36 stack back down here, because now we need to kill the Italians as well as these guys from Niege. Niege? I don't know how you actually say it. They would still not accept the white piece, which is insane. We're at 20%. I think we need like 50% to actually reach all of our goals, right? Yeah, it's 47. Okay. So where's Nezh going? Ne Nezh is probably terrible. Their troops probably suck. If I had to take a guess. So we'll kill them. I hope I'm fine with like Bohemia falling. I don't think it's going to be too big of an issue for us. Yeah, but then when they attack the uh, the irregular stacks, that's bad for us. What are you? You're an actual army, so I'm going to let you siege us down. And then reinforce. Assuming they actually need it. Well, we'll reinforce anyway, because now we have the troops available. So who's fighting on the front lines here? It's mostly, um, Nezd. They're, they're civilized, but they have 12 out of, you know, they have 12 attacks. And we are at, what, 29 now? Like, what, what's, what's Britain on? They're at 27. Italy is at... 29. So Italy's caught up. I don't think Russia is. There are 27 as well. So the Italians are actually going to be the hardest ones to fight. Surprisingly, I know. God, the Russia just... There's just an unlimited supply of Russians. They just never stop. Um, no, I want to... I keep selecting the 31 stack. I want the 26 stack to follow them. Did they break off in two directions? Oh, they did too. Oh, that's fantastic. 
Oh no, they both only broke up in one, so I don't really know what happened there. Oh no, I was, they did, but I was going to the wrong province. I don't know why they retreat into my territory instead of retreating into more, you know, Russian territory, but you know, I'm not going to complain too much. Just kill all the Russians. They're, they're down to 84,000. As soon as they have no troops, I don't think they'll remobilize. Which is great. And we can just stack wipe all their army so they can't reinforce. Like so. Where are you guys going? They're going here. So you've already taken one province here. Ugh. Russia, Russia, Russia. Not a big fan of you, to be honest. I feel like you should probably just retreat or surrender soon. And do these guys have an army? They do. So I'm surprised they actually aren't going to just invade Mongolia. Who's also a fascist dictatorship. You know. You got cores there. You might as well. I feel like more people should be attacking Russia. Like, like China, for example, has so many troops. But aren't doing anything at all to take back their Russian cores. They're not even attacking this guy. But that's probably because they're spirit to Russia. Or allied to France, I should say. Okay, this, this front looks fine. The northern part... Eh. It's not looking as fine, but... Troops over here. What are you? Are you the, you're the irregulars? They just take one percent attrition. That's pretty bad, but oh, we're so close. We are so close to the capital. We're just two provinces away. We'll take Saint Petersburg because their capital is not in Moscow. I don't know what the um, requirements to move the capital to Moscow are, but. The, the, I think it's a decision that the Russians get. Okay, you guys are just going to stay back here and reinforce. The Sw How come the Swedish are so much better? Are these just all infantry? Yeah, they are. That's probably why. Are you all infantry? Oh, you are. Oh, you silly Italian bastards. What are you? You're also just all infantry. I know we take a minus five, but oh, we're rolling actually terribly here. Okay, we're already back up to twelve. We go south. We won here. We'll just keep chasing the Russians just so they're dead. I think we need to put just the engineers in some of these armies. Like that's why you're doing so much because you have the siege efficiency, you got the recon efficiency. These guys have nothing like that, which is why they kind of are sucking right now. Prague. Can't see where you are. This is just farmlands, though. So I th think... It took a minus five. They also have the defense general. Why do they have so many defense generals? That's not helping us at all, is it? Hmm. We need to send more troops. Back home. Actually, how's Madagascar doing? Oh, it's mostly getting sieged down by Indians and some Greeks. I don't know why. This is a very multicultural army that they sent down here to Madagascar. How about Hedges? Hey, Hedges, you want to join the war? They're very likely. They have no troops. They're a presidential dictatorship. You know, why not? You just gotta mobilize. Just mobilize at least add troop and, you know, go into Egypt. Start chasing that thing down. Okay, so they're actually attacking us, which is what I want. They look fi Oh my god, did you see that? They took 5,000 troops the first day. That's an abs- Wow. It's really the, um... Like, you just can't attack into these big armies in late game. It's almost impossible. Germany actually can't get any war score from France because of, um... 
because of all the occupation from these guys. And they would still not accept anything. They would accept us surrendering. And just paying them money. But other than that... But I, I, don't, like, I don't have any interest in doing that. Sorry. Come on, the capital will build a fall. Fantastic. Russia! Even without their capital, they still don't want to say yes to a peace deal. And there's another 62 stack of Russians. That's an absurd number of... This is just an absurd number of Russians. They just keep coming back. They just never stop. Why did... Why did he just puppet Croatia? I have no clue. So they're gonna take Prague. That's fine. He's gonna attack one of these small stacks and we'll just reinforce into that. I think it's time to actually start pulling troops off of the Russian front. Because it, it's mostly secure, and I think that just a handful of troops should be able to, you know, secure what we already hold. Hmm. What are you going to do? You're probably going to attack one of the 26 stacks. Oh, no, you're actually going here. 17th, 17th. I don't care about the occupation as long as we can be there first. Oh, we... Fantastic. That's what I wanted. Well, once the Italians are dealt with, we should be able to... Oh, Germany peaced out. We should be able to move these troops over here. I mean, we might have just completely lost the war. Look how many things they want from us, though. They're asking a lot. They would not accept an offer. I mean, we can't peace out with anybody else. Like Britain, for example. If you can find them in their this mess of flags. Italy, we can't do anything. I just wish I could sever peace. If we could sever peace, it would have been so much easier because France would have just surrendered. The war basically would have been over. Like, what's our war score right now? Without the occupations, we would be at, like, 100. What we're going to have to do... This is what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to beat Russia. We're going to have to beat the British and the Italians. And then completely reoccupy and free France. So we're going to have to send troops over there. Hey, Germany, will you give me military access? They would not. I don't even know if I can get over to France. They will accept. Oh, thank you. I don't know why they'll accept now, but not earlier. So now we can. We actually did move through Italy and then up into France. How many troops does Italy have? They have 88, really have 88 brigades? Wow. Great Britain has 246. I think we're going to, I think we're going to win. In the end, I think we're going to win the war. And that's really all we need. We actually need to even send the, um... We need to be kind of sneaky with the Irregulars. We're going to put the Irregulars straight onto, like, Paris. The Irregulars are now going to shift from Russia into France to be the, um, the liberating armies. I don't care about my occupations. They can be occupied for all I care. We'll attack this 9 stack from Montego, though. Because that's an attempting engagement. Um, don't care about the world thinks about us. We took a... Really, they had no digging bonus? That's surprising, so that's going to be just crippling for them. Kill both of these Italian armies. 10,000 research points or 7 prestige? I think we'll just take the research points because I think we need to get the military attack done as fast as possible. I'm not liking these occupations that we have. Okay, so you guys, you're going to have to go through Vienna, through Italy, and then up to Paris. Don't die on the way there. That's, that's my word of advice. As a military commander, try not to fuck it up. Also, we need to reinforce down here with this 44 stack. 
So we kill that army. Go kill this Greek army. How is Madagascar doing? Did they do anything? No? Okay. The French are docked up here. That's good. There's another 29 stack here. What's France doing? Are you are you winning battles? Like, if you can just win battles and reoccupy your territory, that'd be awesome. Why are they still at war with France? Oh, they want Alsace-Lorraine. Okay. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a fan of that, but I can't really stop them, can I? Are you the defense general? No, but that's fine. We just need big stacks. Oh, you guys are actually doing it. Oh, you took a stupid amount of attrition, but you're going to make it to Paris. Which is all I ever wanted. Ignore this. You, you guys are going to need to have like a reinforcement tick or something. At the end of the month. Uh, we just did a giant massive battle. These guys over here. Where are you going? You're going here? Follow you. This 12 stack, you just stay there and reinforce a bit. 43 can go there, you go to the next, no, you go down here into our actual territory, because the 1 stack isn't going to siege anything. But I do think this is going to be the end of the episode, so thanks everybody for watching, my name's been Anthony, if you enjoyed, remember to thumbs up, not enjoyed, comment, thumbs down, if you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.